Hey there, it's John from Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to explain how pivot tables calculate averages and why the grand total row does not show the average of averages. So this is a question that comes up pretty often in the Excel Campus community. And in this pivot table here, we have a simple summary report of average quantity by region, as we can see here. And one question that comes up is when we select all the cells in the values area here for the averages, and we look down here in the status bar, that's going to show us an average of those cells, which is 2,322. If you don't see the status status bar down here or the average calculation, you can right click on the status bar and then toggle these different metrics on and off. So we have this average of these cells here, but you can see the grand total row shows an average of 2,777. So why are these two different? Well, this number down here is considered an average of the averages, and that can actually be a misleading number. What the pivot table is showing us in the grand total row is the average of all the cells within the quantity column. So if we jump over to our source data here, this is our source data for this pivot table. And again, the pivot table is just calculating the summary report or showing the summary report of each region here. And then for each region, it's taking all the cells for each region and calculating the average of all of those for each region. And that's what it shows on the pivot table. But for the grand total row, it shows the averages of all the cells here in the quantity column. And we can actually see that in the total row. So if we just select any cell inside the pivot table here, go to the design tab on the ribbon and turn the total row on, that'll give us our total row down here. And by default, it calculates the sum using the subtotal function. I explained the subtotal function in the total row in a previous video. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. So definitely check that one out. Uh, but here we can also select the average calculation. That'll change our subtotal function to show the average instead. And we can see here's that same number we see in the grand total row of the pivot table, 2,777. So if we jump back over here, that's this number here. And again, that's the average of all the cells in the column. And that's beneficial because it allows us to do a comparison of the average of everything to the average for each region. So we can see here that the east region is below average compared to all the other regions. Uh, and the west region is above average compared to all the other regions. So that gives us a calculation there. Another way to look at this, or it gives us a good, uh, not just calculation, but a good uh, example of how we can compare these numbers. Uh, and another way to look at this is if I expand this out here, I have some hidden columns with some other calculations, which is the count of the number of orders for each region or the count of the number of rows for each region in the data set. And then the sum of the quantity, the sum of those cells. And to calculate average, we just take the sum and divide it by the count. And that would give us this number here. And as you can see in the total row, that's exactly what's happening here. We're taking the sum of all of the quantity divided by the count of all of the uh, quantity as well, or all of the orders. And that gives us an average quantity. So that's another way to just kind of look at this. This is actually what you might consider a weighted average being weighted by the count of all the rows and that's going to be a more accurate calculation in terms of the average of the total of this data set now if you have a reason why you'd want to see average of averages uh, leave a comment below because i'd be curious to know typically that number again is going to just lead to misleading results or misleading information with the average of averages because of the quantity or the count here. If you had a really low count in one region and a really high count in another region, uh, that can skew that average of average numbers and it's going to be different than the total average for the entire data set. So I hope that helps in explaining uh, the grand total row and the average calculation there for a pivot table. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.